Hello everybody, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. This one is going to show you how to face motion track for a dance video. This is really popular in TikTok and you'll see here I've motion tracked to her face. As you can see, the bounding box moves as it moves with her. How did I do it? Let's do it. I'll show you in about 60 seconds. So let's just go ahead and delete that composition and start from scratch. Here we go. First step, drag and drop some footage into your timeline. Excellent. Here we go. I've got a few seconds of her doing her thing. I'm just going to chop this down to two seconds because I just want to show you the technique. I don't want to render out a long composition. So I'm just going to go to composition, trim comp to work area. So we're just working with two seconds worth of footage. Okay. Here we go. I've got the playhead at the beginning. The first step is you want to go to your tracker panel. For me, it's located right here. If you don't see it, go to window, make sure there's a check mark beside tracker and the panel will be open to you. The next step is you want to left click on stabilize motion. When you do that, you get what's called track points and I'll have to zoom in a bit here and you'll see it. If you click on them, you can just expand them out just like this. So I'm just going to expand this one out and I'm actually just going to place it right over her face. So it's a little bit too big actually. Uh, not her face. <laughs> uh, her face is fine. It's the track point. So I'm just going to make this track point right around her face, something like that. Okay, good. It doesn't have to be exact. No big deal. The next step is you want to left click here on analyze forward. We are now going to analyze this track and let After Effects do its thing. As you can see, it is analyzing and keeping her face inside these tracking points. While it does that, do keep in mind that if you find that you have a analyze or a track point that isn't correct, you can go in and manually adjust them when the tracking is done. Also, for you TikTokers and you dancers and you're doing filming, remember to keep a little bit of headspace above your um, um, above yourself or above whoever you're filming because that's going to come in handy because we're going to need to scale this in a few seconds. Okay, it is done. Let's get to work. Well, almost done. There we go. Now we're done. So if I scan through this like this, you'll see here that the track points are good. And again, remember that if the track point was incorrect at say this sec part, I could go ahead and move it if I saw fit. Command Z to undo. Okay, you're following along with me. The next step is we're going to go ahead now and apply it. Left click on apply and we're going to apply X and Y dimensions, meaning up and down and side to side. Now, let's go ahead and hit play and see what we got. Okay, good. This is coming along, and I'll zoom in a bit here, but you'll see that the black bars are coming around the sides. And that's basically because the scaling's not correct. Because when you when you uh, track to a, a position, whenever the position is a little bit wonky and you'll it moves with it, you'll get a black bar either on the side or on the top or the bottom, just like this. So what you need to do is you need to go to your transform panel. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on the little chevron or the down triangle. Click on that again, and then I'm just going to go ahead and scale this up. And when you do that, now I'm going to go through it again and look for black bars. So basically, I'm just looking to see if there's any part where it kind of gives me that black bar look. It does not. So maybe we scaled a little bit too much, but that's okay. What I'll do now is I'll just set this to fit. Okay, let's see what we got now. Hit space bar. And we have now done the dance, dancey, tick-tocky motion track using After Effects. Thanks for watching.